This is how you greet a person for a chest x-ray. Scott from x-ray, how you doing? Hi Scott, it's broken. Do you know what you're here for? A chest x-ray. Okay. And you verify their name. Can I get your name, ma'am? Lisa Inglis. And you check their ID bracelet. We're going to pretend this watch is her ID bracelet. And it matches. And then you ask her to step in here and put on a gown because she has bling on. You want her to take her bling off. You want her to take her earrings off. But they have to take the bra off. So then you ask them to put on a gown and make sure it's open in the back. Sometimes when you tell people to take their earrings off, they still leave them on. You're going to be touching them. Some people are uncomfortable with that. You, back, you, you push them up against the wall and then you put them, tell them to, what I do is tell them to put their hands on their hips like they're mad at me. Move the bucky up and down and then you also move the CR up and down. And what you're looking to do is you're looking to get their shoulder right about here. And you're also looking for their vertebra prominence, which this is their prominence right here. And you want to go down about seven, eight inches. And that's where you want to center your central ray. You put your marker on, which this is a left marker. Do their breathing technique, which is to take one deep breath, let it out, take another deep breath, and hold it. And while they're holding it, that's when you take the x-ray. And then when they're done, make sure you tell them you can breathe a lateral turn them, you can have them put their hands on top of their head. What I like to do is put them on the top of the head like that. But the other thing, especially with elderly people, reach for a pole like this and stand with a pole. That way their humeruses are out of their way. What you're looking for is you want to make sure there's a nice flat back. You don't want to have any rotation. You'll see that sometimes a person will rotate themselves. All right, so you want a nice straight. Right here you have your central ray. Mid thorax at T7. Keep the light on. You have the same breathing technique. As they hold it, you take the x-ray. Then you say, okay, you can breathe. And you can put your arms down and relax. Make sure that they have all their belongings and then you get them out the door. One other thing that you must always do is you shield your patient. This is a roll around shield. This is a lead shield that the person actually wears around their waist. And this is a full lead shield, which will not work for doing a chest x-ray. These are, these are film, this isn't digital, but the digital will actually show up in the computer. And then what you want to look for is you want to look for your cosophonic angles which are these two right here. You want to make sure those are included. You want to make sure that your apex is included up here on your PA chest x-ray. Also, you want to make sure that your marker is shown up. Do a lateral, you're looking for your ribs, your posterior ribs. You're looking for your hilum, your sternum, your esophagus and trachea. But the biggest thing that you need to make sure is that you don't clip the bottom of your calcifalic angles and that there's no rotation.